And this is not only the way we're designed, but it is for us. Because we come, Let's we come to this a, is such a, this is such a, like, I, I believe this deeply. It is the re, it is what you're talking about. And I want to slow it down and really like land it. What you are talking about is the reason why I have where I started and where I am now and where I continue, it's like the, the context that I hold my content. You're talking about a contextual shift, yes, which is enormous. I, I, and, and I'm talking about a maturity level mm -hmm. shift in consciousness that mm -hmm. is happening on our planet right now. Mm -hmm. We are each and every one in our own way being invited through the doorway of moving from the victim triangle to a fourth level of consciousness. We've got the helpless baby, that's the victim. We've got the, and, and the second level of maturity is the, is the bully, is mm -hmm. the persecutor. Yeah, Think about what two-year-old. Yeah. I mean, it's like mine, bam, bam, yeah. bam. Yeah, yeah. It's the this no. Is, it's like you have to have no before you can say yes. This is oh. a level of maturity. And it's, it's every one of us are designed to go through it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, but it, it only becomes, an, uh, it becomes very uncomfortable for us when we're still doing it at, 40 50 60 or forever or I mean, forever I when this is me this is our starting gate position yeah. which means we see the world through yeah. a lens that yeah, says it's lens. dangerous yeah so let's go back to this is happening for me the contextual shift around that is that so yeah say say more and then i'll say yeah well, let because i i can lead in that and still bring in that rescuer which is yeah. the third level and that's the helper level i'm going to fix this i'm going to control it if not fix it i'm going to manage this because i know best what you need and so i if you just do it my way <laughs> then everything will be fine this is the rescuer and it is the it is about as good as it gets in terms of maturity in our world Yes, and on this triangle. And so, and so, you know, so all of us are, well, you ask, how often do you, do you still get on it? I'm human. We do this. This is, this is part of every day. It's not a matter of whether or not we do it. It's, do I understand that it's an opportunity for me rather than something I need to get rid of? I need to never go it's there again. It's happening to me or why is this like, it's like we're at the mercy of it. Right. And this is how it's a benefit for us now. Okay. So what's it offering us? Right now, we are being offered to move up into what I call the fourth level of maturity, and that is observer consciousness. I was going to ask you, okay, so what is the, so you just literally, like, I was going to say, okay, what's the way out? I can talk about what, what my fiance. So, yes, and you know what the key ingredients for the observer is? It's that is the witnessing in this. That is not the judge. It is a part of us, and it is the, the observer part of us and we all have it although in most of us it's severely atrophied from lack of disuse um from lack of use <laughs> um, <laughs> and and misuse yes. yes anyway all those so uh we the the observer consciousness is works according to and i've just chosen 10 over the years i grew up on esoteric principles universal laws and when I began to look for how to get off the victim triangle, yeah. I went there naturally. It was like, okay, well, what did the universal laws say? Mm -hmm. If I align my belief system with universal laws that have been around from the very beginning that are inherent in everything of high frequency of value, that is true. Everything that is true is made up of 10. And, I, and I'm not saying this is all of them, but I selected 10 as sort of the foundation so what if I began to look at life through these laws and it changed everything. It changed the way I saw because it's based on a, a model that says there's no blame. Mm -hmm. The first thing we do in order to move up is we give up the need to point the finger at to ourselves be right. to be right. or someone else. Yeah. And yeah. that alone takes you off the triangle. 
Well, first, even, I, first, even noticing that you are on the triangle. That's the observer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. First, even noticing I'm, I'm really wanting to kill like this morning with Ken, what happened, whatever. And it happens like in a, in an instant, right? You are on the triangle. You don't even know something genuine has happened. And I'm not even saying that that didn't happen. We ended up talking about it and he was like, yeah, I could, I absolutely, I could see that I was like bringing some judgment where I went to was the thing, right? I noticed what, that I wanted, that my hackles went up and that I sort of wanted to, to destroy the room. Not, not, not too much anger came up there. Just a, and, and, and the thing is, is that it was so cool. Like, it wasn't even like, I'm not, like, I just, like, I have most of me here. And then there was a part of me that was like, I noticed like 80% of me noticed that there was 20 part, 20% of me that wanted to just destroy the room. And I was like, there you go. That's good. And, and yeah. And so, oh man, there's just so many ways we could take this right now. Yeah. But, yeah. but uh, well, I, I want to say, um, so first, 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 that is, feel. first is noticing. You can't noticing. You can't but know here's the th oh, that's what I want to say. You can't know. You can't go where you want to go if you don't even know where you are on the map. Exactly. So when noticing and then noticing, probably that what you're really doing and that that you are noticing with a whole lot of critique about where you should be and where you shouldn't be. Yeah. 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 yeah I, and I've so and to this the point is where the, yeah. This yeah. is us again. This is us internalizing the triangle. This is us on the victim triangle. Now we've moved into victim with me. You should be somewhere else than where you are, which by the way, I've discerned as the, a human core belief that all humanity shares. There's one specifically, and that is it should be different. Yeah, I did Wherever have a little we bit go. I did have a little yeah. bit of like, gosh, you're really making it like I had a I had like a quiet whisper of like, I shouldn't really be making it a big deal. And I was like, oh well, it's a big deal. Tough. That it there's something that's coming up and it's a big deal. And so that's we're right. gonna just be with it. Tough, tough. And yeah, and, and that's coming back to reality. That's yeah. again, that's this is another key to peace. Yeah. So we talked about putting down the blame. What does that mean? That means recognizing that there is nothing, first guiding principle. We are, there is nothing we will encounter in our day in, in our in encounters with other that is not of the say of the vibrational, the emotional tone that I am trans, trans uh, knitting. I love this as an idea and it's such a wake up what you're talking about. Well, it means taking radical self-responsibility and you know what? It works. It, it works powerfully. It, and you know what else? You don't have to wait around to see if it will work. It just, it just works. <laughs> you don't even have to wait. You could have that now. You could do that now. Yeah, I mean, that's right. The, it's all, and here's the thing. It's all made up anyway, to a certain degree. No, to every, every it's degree. all, it's every, it's all <laughs> every story. Degree. It's all story. And so if it's all story, if it's all story, if we're coming from the con from the from the point of view that this is all story and it's all made up anyway, make up a good story. Make up a story that actually That's my motto. Yeah, make up a story that actually <laughs> Pick works. Pick one you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and, then, and notice when you don't, because when the story that you are acting out of is not a problem. It's not, I need to get rid of this story. Because when you think you need to get rid of something, what is the emotional energy of that? I know. I listen. I I speak to I in my I like in my my dialogues with people and my coaching and things like that. Like where we unravel the knot, especially with women, uh, m men for whatever reason have like they have their own thing, but they around feelings and emotions and et cetera, et cetera. But like women, we have like an extra added, and this might be my story, but we have an extra added layer of I'm not allowed to be, especially when it comes to anger and power and except I'm not allowed to be that. And so we spend so much time bringing rightness. Mm -hmm. That's right. To and this the places is, this we make ourselves wrong. Yes. Excuse me for getting so excited. I know we're uh, just really excited about this. We're just like, yes, 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 let's talk some more. There's so much to be said. <laughs> 
And I love saying it because guys, this is such an epic time on our planet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are really literally being given the, the energetic pathways have opened for us to be able to step into another way of seeing life. Yeah. I said this to you the last time we, so, so Lynn and I had a, had a live Facebook conversation a number of months ago. And it was like, right when the pandemic had hit, it was like, just a, like, and so the world was really in chaos. Like, it's not that the world is not in chaos anymore, but it was really in chaos. All kinds of systems were breaking down and et cetera, et cetera. People were like out of control, feeling out of control. And I remember specifically being in your field, Lynn, and being like, you prepared your whole, I could get teary eyed. You prepared your whole whole life for this moment. It's as though literally the work that you do and everything that you've ever done in life has prepared you for this particular time period. It feels that way to me. It feels it's, that way to me. When I'm in your field, that's exactly, I like literally, I was like, well, you could not be the more perfect doctor for the ailments. That yeah, yeah, no. And that, and that, uh, see, I, and I wrote a book in 2000 and published it in 2011, and it is, it's more pertinent today than it's ever been. It's called Beyond Victim Consciousness. So I want to say something else about going back to that observer. Can we? Can yeah. we go back there? Yeah. Because we were talking about taking that step of maturity into the next level, and yeah. that is moving into observer consciousness, which, it, and if you use those, t the universal laws, it, it, I've got 10 that I use that are, but you use universal law of how the mind works as a way to view what is happening to you rather than pointing the finger and say, they did that to me. Yeah. And now that justifies me doing this to them. Yes. And, and it's sort of, it, it, what it gives me is an opportunity to say, wow, okay. So no, no accident that this is what I'm encountering and it's all yeah. for me. So how might this be for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to say something to this because it because sometimes, and this is what I find with a lot of people that I work with, sometimes people want to skip over or they want to mm -hmm. like spiritually bypass or just p bypass period. The genuine heartbreak, grief, feelings, anger, like there's genuine feelings inside of like Cir people are walking around with circumstances and things that have happened that are like are genuine, real, painful, horrible. That's what you and I are talking about here are not about like bypassing any of those feelings. That's exactly right. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. I'm interested in, and that's the alchemical part of this process because this is alchemy that we're talking about. This is emotional alchemy. Mm -hmm. This is psychological, emotional um, healing through alchemy. And it is the, it is the way we're designed to move into a higher consciousness. We are designed and every single one of us are on that path somewhere, Wh whether we know it or not, we're on that journey of remembering who we are, which will happen instantaneously when we drop the body, because we drop the story when we drop the body. And yes. then we remember, Oh, Oh, I'm one I with am everything. That. That's yes. right. I am love. that energy. Yeah, yeah. That I'm, universal flow. I'm divine. That, yes, that's I'm exactly divine. Right. made of all divine that's stuff, right. like the stars. So we, yes. so ultimately, we don't have to worry about it. And everything that's in form is a template. It is a mind creation. In the beginning was the word. Yes. And what is the word? Word made flesh. What is the word if not a thought belief? transmitted through sound made manifest made manifest that's exactly what it is and so when we begin to interact with the world it just gets to be a lot scary a lot less scary place yeah. so tell me these are the 10 these are the 10 basic universal principles that undergird the reality formula that undergird the work that i do this process of moving beyond victim consciousness, moving beyond those defense strategies and living out of those as if that's who we are. That defended self is what we call me. We think that's who we are. And really it's a group of defense strategies that we're operating out of to quote, protect ourselves from what we've decided is a, is a dangerous world. And because we believe it, we feel and act in ways that make it so. Because, yes. Yeah. We, we, Before you go we on are, to the thing, I want to like, it's so important. Like, so in this, so that's for 
regular everyday folks for disordered people it's literally there's the only the only created self that false self that lynn is talking about is the only self that most people who are walking around with adaptations or disordered ways know themselves to be yeah so, most humans actually yeah, there yeah. are there's a growing percentage it's been exciting because i've been at this work 40 years yes. and i can tell a huge acceleration in the in the awakening process in the last particularly last five to eight years yeah. but i mean just like <laughs> Yeah, people are yeah, just in quantum such time. an exciting time, yeah. such an exciting time. So, the so there are 10 universal laws, I call them the, the guiding principles of where we, in order, when we catch ourselves on the triangle, we begin to reach for these tools. These are, each one of them is a tool. It's a lens through which you look at what you've been blaming. You back off and you say, well, okay, well, what if the first one is the law of cause and effect? Understanding that it is uh, that whatever I'm thinking, I'm going to, there, there will be, that is the cause. It's all mental. The cause always comes back to a mental, a belief and projecting that out. So it's the law of vibration, which understands that we are energy in motion. That's emotion. That is the, uh, the energy that moves in and through us. And it comes through a whole elaborate, uh, uh, development uh, uh, mechanism mm -hmm. called the human body, which mm -hmm. includes a mind, which includes chakras that take in energy and, and put them and, tra and transmit it. And there's just this whole thing going on that, that we are vibrational and what we encounter will be a vibrational match for what it is that we are vibrating, the emotional tone that we're living in. That yes. is our vibration. Yes. The law of polarity, yeah. which says, right, the law of polarity that says, that this is we live in a world where there is in order to even create a world would there had to be the light which was all there was in the beginning all that's all there is and and uh except what that one mind has projected into being if you think of ourselves the alchemist said that all 400 billion plus galaxies whatever many there are out there um are happening simultaneously in the one mind, mm. the one mind, the one mm. mind, capital M, the one mind of what we call the creator source. And that means everything, you, me, everything is a hair growing off the head of that vibrational one mind. It, mm. We are all coming from the same source, the same one mind. And in this way, we are all one. We will all go back to that. And but the, the law polarity, of what you're talking about is the polarity is the illusion that we are not. And we have right. to be so we had to that have. illusion to be able to actually experience not oneness so we can come back to oneness. So that we can experience manifestation, manifestation <laughs> into density. That is the separation of light and, de and shadow. And so everything is built on polarity. And, and so you stop, it's not either or mentality. It's not, you either, this is right and this is wrong. And this is, so you just gotta choose the right one and you gotta know which one is the right one. And, and all of this rather than, oh, it's both and, it's the yin yang, it's always the yin yang. It's, it's uh, the conservatives, the liberals, that's the yin yang guys, like it or not, they, they, we are all in this moving back and forth between the opposites because that's how we move forward yes and, and so that, that is how so mm -hmm, that's the law of polarity the law of cycles says that everything is cyclic says if you put on if you put on the wheel the higher trinity that's where that's the observer consciousness the observer mind the one that sees without blame and at the bottom of the wheel is the victim triangle and that wheel if you're if you uh, wherever you started from, you started from here, the way it go gets to its destination is it is through the movement of up and down. You can't just live it up. <laughs> you know, there you have a very flat wheel, there is no progress made. So it's a cycle. Hmm. All life is a cycle. And it opens to a next higher frequency. So you are moving forward but it also feels a lot of time like you're in retrograde you know you're you're going backwards and because you you are you're going back into a pattern only because it's ne it's necessary the world this actually what you're talking about in that particular 
that particular law is the, the world mirrors that it's like the tide to, the the to go out the night yeah. falls and the day right. comes That's you right. breathe in you breathe out the 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 season like it's literally built into our whole every day every week every month every so season right. every year so right. All of these, these are universal laws. They are, apply on every level at every strata. They're always true. Mm -hmm. And you will never, you will never find it not so. The law of reflection is the one you're talking about there. It's the world is a mirror. Mm -hmm. So when you're the, the other is always going to mirror to you wherever you are in the cycle, that's what you're looking at over there. <laughs> what you're pushing against is the very thing that you're being asked to forgive, to accept, to love, to mm -hmm to use as an opportunity, as a doorway, to open to an expanded version of, of who you think you are, to release that which you think you are that is not in alignment with the truth about who you are. Mm -hmm. And the way you tell the difference, that we're moving into the law of transmutation, it's that the way you tell the difference is through the vibrational tone, the frequency of whatever it is that you're you're considering wherever you are, you just look at, well, is this a heaviness? Is this a fear-based tone? Mm -hmm. Or is this one that takes me to, uh, to up the up the scale? Mm -hmm. And and so you you begin to learn how to choose, make your choices based on what feels good. And I don't mean just pleasurable, although pleasurable, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's it's, you know, we have this belief. One of the beliefs is that if I do what I want, nothing will happen for me. It, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll just waste my life or, I, or I'll become a pervert or I'll become an addict or I'll be, if I just do what I want. Well, yeah, if you don't do what you want, that's the way that, that that's yeah. what leads to those things. It's, it's yeah. really trusting that, that you're and, and aligning with the highest, align with love and then trust where that takes you. Yeah. Follow it. And I really, and I, and if I could say something to that, like in the beginning, there may be, you know, there's, there's the, when we're hungry, sometimes we do go to the cotton candy, you know, the, the immediate mouth hunger that doesn't really quite feed the body well, but it's, we've been so deprived that for a while there is the need to just like feed the mouth. Mm -hmm. And then if we actually just trust that process of just feeding, feed, feed, feed the mouth, eventually your body genuinely will genuinely Choose. will go this isn't feeling good to me anymore exactly it does and and actually and that can happen really that's the role of the observer yes is that what we do is rather than fight against what it is that we have have judged as uh un, un, inappropriate and unacceptable what we do instead is we learned to observe it mm -hmm. we just turn attention on it and not in a judging way but in a way that says, oh, I see you. And I'm, I'm noticing that when I do this, this is what follows that. Yes. And this is where I go. And this is what that brings into my life. Yes. And I do that until I, until I get to a place where I decide that's not what I want to bring into my life. And yeah. this is what's called the law of verification. Yeah. So I, I want to say one thing to this. Like I, I'm, it's funny that you're saying all this because I do a lot of like, I have never, I have never, um, hated myself into self-acceptance you can't no i've never you can't get I've there never, from there no you can't you can't it's, it's hilarious when you think about it so i'm going to get really at myself and i'm going to give myself a couple of good shakes and and that's supposed to what except make make me you know contract into a wad yeah. you know a contraction and this is the thing that man i'm saying a lot here Oh no, this is great. This is brilliant. You were saying uh, the next law is the law of, of verification. Yeah. So uh, the and, and the same is the law of verification. That's what we've been talking uh, about. That's yeah. actually going down into the experience, having the experience and experiencing the feelings and, and including it's not about not having your feelings. It is that's right. But and here is the thing because feelings just want to be heard. That's it. They just want to be, if you, they just want, they want to be released, give them air, give them voice, give them expression um, in a way that, yeah, you, you accept it and, and you love, and, and you don't, what we do is we get into this wrestle with it. Like, 
my feelings are supposed to, I'm not supposed to feel that way. And if I feel that way, it means this about me. And we start doing all this and it just wants to, it wants to just. Or we start to what, think, we start to judge it and try to squash it down. This is a bad feeling. It's a wrong feeling. That means X about me, whatever the hell we make mean about. Or we go, oh God, I have to do something and rescue and fix it and change it. And so it's on block. Like we have to do, so we either suppress or we try to fix and we feel controlled by it as opposed to, the, the, the freedom that the other way gives, which is to actually separate enough so you can see it and Witness just- Witness it without it. judgment. Just hold Accept it. Accept it where it is. Yeah. Give yeah. it the right to be because it has the right to be. It's and we know right. that because it is, yeah. it's reality. It's just and what so, it is. And therefore, in, since reality is always for us, yes. then going back to the first guiding principle, it's always for us. So. That means that this emotion that I'm having, no matter how uncomfortable it might feel, is actually something that is a messenger. It is something that is t helping me find a belief that I'm holding that is coming up for, for release. Yes. That's coming up for reframing. That's yes. coming up for uh, an as an opportunity to be kinder to me, to love me better. I, 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 I can't tell you how much I, I keep going. This is like literally the map and the, the key out of like personal. It really health. is. It so really keep is. going. This is great. What's the so, next law? So the law of projection, the law uh -huh. of projection that, that because whatever it is, whatever the emotional tone is that we've taken on, whatever we're believing, we're go or, or whatever it is, especially it's really about what it is that we are denying. And we will find it out there. When we push it down, you were mentioning that emotional, when we push the emotion down and say, that's not, I'm not, I don't get angry. I'm not angry. I don't have that. Then what we're going to need because the law of polarity is going to call to me that which I'm denying, that which I'm, that's, that's how shadow shows up. It will, it, it will show up out here in the form of someone who's really, really angry and very often angry with me because really, guess what? Guess who's really angry with me? That would be me. Yeah, yeah we and create so I'm being, we defend against. Absolutely. So I will call into my life that person who will show me what I'm doing to me. Yes. And when yes. we learn how to use the law of projection, we can actually use that as a way of saying, again, the law, the, the reflection, the law of reflection, who is that in me? Rather than you, and rather than the blame mode, you should stop doing that. And you know what you're, you're making me hurt and you're making me mad and you're in my, and you have to change. I this you is should a be really, different. Yes, it's funny, we were talking, it's funny, Ken and I were actually talking about this very thing this morning where I, I had, a, I, years ago, I was remembering this memory of like having something happen where I had this interesting experience where it, it was inappropriate, but I remember when it was going on being like, huh, that's so fascinating. This person mm -hmm. is actually picking up something from me. That's, I didn't get upset. I just was like, this person's picking up something from me. That's so interesting. And so I used the experience to go into where it was he was picking it up in me. That he, And then we talked about it afterwards. It was like this really beautiful conversation afterwards where I was like, it's so fascinating that you did like, and we got to explore the whole entire thing. And then it was like, poof, gone. But what you're talking about is very easy on paper and incredibly challenging at it's, times. It's why we call it work. <laughs> you know, it's it's the work capital W. And I know. Okay, so the I law know, of projection. Yeah, it is literally the law like, of projection. The yeah. law of intention. Oh. The law of intention is the and this is what comes after I begin to clear what it is I'm believing and and recognize using the projection using. Uh, the judgments again, using these things, everything has their sacred function. Judgment has its sacred function. Projection has it. All of these are tools when you understand how they work, that you can actually use them to intend the world you want and mm. the life you want for you. Instead, you, you begin to look for, okay, what's a higher, what's another, uh, an easier, kinder, when I say higher, higher frequency way of seeing that situation that I have used historically as a way to create unhappiness for me. 
Yes. Now I'm looking for how can I see this in a way that makes it for me, that I really do see that it, at least I can respect it, that it's showing me something important that I need to see. And I know that by the size of my reaction to it. Yes. The more I react to it, the more I know it is for me. It is totally for me. And I, and, and that for me, it brings my attention in because with the question of where does that live in me? How do I do that to me? Where is that in me? The law of intention hmm. is about that using that as a way of then saying, how would I like it to be? Yeah. Where would I like to go from here? Yes. And, and then I began to think in terms of if, what would I be feeling right now? And, and what I'm doing is I'm actually alchemicalizing my emotional tone. I'm bringing it to a higher level. Yeah, you're actually, uh, you're actually not at the effect, you are affecting. That's right. Yeah, you are literally changing yeah. your internal makeup. Yeah. Your yeah. psyche is being cleared and cleansed. Yeah. You are being moved up yeah. to a higher level of seeing things yes. in that moment. It's great. And then, then, and this is the process. So we just keep doing these universal laws. We begin to, whatever's going on. We, and then the 10th one is the law of alignment. And that is the under of aligning, intending and aligning with that, which is of the highest frequency that, uh, that aligning to the, to the point that nothing is even can even come into this energy field that is not in alignment with with her highest and best good this is a map like i i really feel like this is that if one has the commitment and the intention and the energy and the interest and the curiosity to study them for the rest of your life. That's been my life study. I, I realize as you're talking about it, that I have been doing all of those things instinctually. See, they're definitely. universal laws. It's not like I'm telling anybody anything new. I'm not teaching you anything. I'm reminding you mm -hmm. of what you already know because your higher self in sacred geometry, it is said that we are each implanted with our own uh, sacred code and they they place it right at the at the base of the spine there mm -hmm. is is this seed it's like the acorn holds the map for the oak and you will never crack open a, a, or plant an acorn and get a grapevine out of it <laughs> or a weed or tomato or wheat it will always and only be an oak and we are each coded we are each coded to be a, to, to, for a particular expression. And we come equipped with the downloads, the lineage. None of this is accidental or coincidental. We, coincidental. we come downloaded and, and come in at the time we do purposefully as a way to trigger the challenges, the polarities in us that will expand us the challenges that, and this is how it's all for us. So I want to, I want to first um, snapshot a couple of things that I heard that I want to have for people to take away. There is something called the drama triangle. It is a curriculum that we call it all, the victim. Let's call it the victim triangle. The victim triangle. Because wait, see the starting gate positions. All of that work is 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 comes through me. Stephen right. Cartman is the actual drama triangle, and that right. was he gave me the graph and the word the three he named them. But but I did all this research. Great, you know, the core beliefs, the defense will. strategies, all that's Great. Lynn Forrest work. Great. So let's key takeaways. There is a victim triangle. It is a curriculum that we are all, all of us signed up for. It's like, if you're on the planet, you're a human being, you are in the curriculum. At some point you will 
over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Be in not at some point, at always. Some point. You will. This is what you're going to be doing, folks. That, this is what we all are doing all the time. And that the point is, is to acknowledge that this is actually what we're here for. Is to and begin to use it. Begin to, to use it to work for you. Correct. And this that's is what, what. Yeah. The way to to move out is to constantly be able to bring awareness that mm -hmm. we are inside of that mm -hmm. and to bring curiosity and to see where it is and to use the 10 laws as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I would drop the as much as possible. It's just to use the 10 laws. Because really, yeah, the two universe, the 10 universal laws that I'm naming here, yeah. but that are in that are in you. This is you already have this download. All of us, all I do with people is just remind them of what this is how, yeah. And that's the other thing I wanted to say. If people wanted to work with you, where would where should they go? Uh, they should go to my webpage, lynnforest.com, L-Y-N-N-E, two R's in forest.com. And also my daughter and I are doing a reality formula live. Um, there's so much going in my mind of things that, that are possibilities. It's like, yeah, tell her about this. But the reality formula live online webinar, it's twice a month where people can actually uh, participate as much as they want to. They can bring some, uh, something for me to sort of help support them by applying the guiding principles. So I'll add, you can actually see me at work doing this work with other people yeah. and, uh, and, and experience it yourself. This is particularly like important. I really want to put this out there to who have, uh, the community uh, of people who are involved with uh, those that are disordered, especially if you're involved with someone who's got narcissistic personality disorder and how addictive that particular pattern can be and how like crazy making and gaslighting it can feel. This work is like particularly powerful for that kind of dynamic because it is such a, such a, like a heightened, powerful, um, uh, like really dramatic version of the the victim triangle, and well, so and it asks and it asks responsibility from yes. from the individual. So yeah. anyone who has a diagnosis like that, yeah. I mean, it, it is, or if you're involved it, with someone who's got something like that, and you're trying to get off yeah. of the 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 habit wheel or the or the yeah. the wheel of that, this is particularly powerful work to see yourself and then to start to get yourself off of that. Well, thank you, Anne. It's exciting. I'm excited about it. No, I really enjoyed our conversation. Me too. It's too short. I feel like I'm cutting this too short and it's like, it's my, my own feeling of like, it's too short. Um, um, All right. I, uh, I want to thank you for your time, really. I enjoyed it very much and congratulations. And, and Tuesday, I'll be, uh, I'll be thinking about you guys during your wedding. Thank you. I'll speak All to right. you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>